Hello, hello, Jamar Rashad here, Frederick's best interviewer. Today I'm with Leanna Armstrong, say hello. Hi there. Her business is called Freckles Illustration. She has been in business since 2020. She has been married since 2020. She has a dog and a cat, and she has lived in Frederick since 2018. So, Valor Lives Interview Series, episode 109. Why do I do what I do? Number one, because there's people who deserve to have their stories told. Number two, there's people out there who need to hear successful stories so they could be inspired. And number three, to let you know you could go out there without a bunch of fancy equipment and impact your community. So just like always, each interview is right around that 10 minute mark, raw and uncut. Leanna, let's do it. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> so what exactly do you do? I am a watercolor artist. I also do pressed flower art and embroidery. Okay. How did you come up with this business? Um, basically, I was avoiding art all my life, and I decided, you know what, art keeps uh, uh, coming back into it, so we're just going to dig our heels in, and we're going to go all art. Okay. So. What do you mean you were avoid avoiding art? So there's always that term of the starving artist, okay. and I let that get in my head, and I tried all the career paths, and so art just kept creeping in. Okay. Yeah. And then um, your chosen medium is watercolor. Yes, I love it. Why do you love watercolor? opposed to like charcoal or whatever. Yeah, uh, so I just love the fluidity of it. Uh, a lot of people, they get intimidated by how it's not controlled, but I actually think it is controllable. I think you can get as detailed as you want with watercolor, and I love that translucentness of it. It's just amazing, and so, yeah. Okay, and then are you currently working on a piece right now? Um, right now, I am try starting to get Mother's Day cards in, so and I'm doing an embroidery. So those are my two projects. Mother's Day cards in. Yeah. Embroidery. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> what was your proudest moment of 2023? I would say definitely I was in a storefront Frederick made for the first time. That was a heavy goal for me. And also I did a bunch of markets and shout out to my husband for helping me with every market because if any artist out there knows, is a lot of work. So I was thankful for him on that. What do you mean a, a market? Uh, so that's gonna, gonna be like those pop-up markets that you'll see in the street, like uh, Frederick in the Street does okay. it. Yeah. Gotcha. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And then what was your lowest moment of 2023 and how did you overcome it? Yeah, sure. So September 1st, my mom had a major heart surgery. And as, as that fall market season begins, it's just a lot of stress, a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And so trying to stay on top of things and making those goals while also being stressed and trying to be creative, it doesn't always go that way. So <laughs> just making those small tasks and actually achieving them kept me on track. Okay. And then where do you want the business to be a year from now? I would love to be in a gallery, but I also have been planning on doing classes. And okay. so I've already started classes at Frederick Made. I have one coming up March 16th. We're gonna do a blue crab, which is this guy. And so we're super excited. And then, um, but I'm hoping to do more online classes as well so I can help others. Okay, when, when is your class? March, March. 16th okay. at 12 p.m. When's the one after that? The one after that is yeah. gonna be an embroidery class okay. and that's, we're gonna do a little cat. So it's gonna be super cute. Is that gonna be in April or? Yes, that is going to be April, third, I believe. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Cool. <laughs> and then do you have a morning routine, something you do every morning to get your day started successfully? Yeah, so I do breath work in the morning just to kind of center myself. Exactly. Inhale, exhale, big deep breaths. I do it in the shower usually. Um, I always thought it was a little weird, but it just helps me get that day going. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> What book are you reading or audio are you currently listening to? Um, I just finished The Wishing uh, Game by Meg Schaefer and I'm starting a local Frederick artist is called Mrs. Nash's, uh, Miss Nash Ash, Ashes. Butchered that, sorry. But basically, she's local artist. It's a rom-com. It's super cute. Haven't read it, but I've heard great things. Okay. And she is a business owner. Yes. All right. Yeah. Hey. Oh, hey. Okay. There you go. <laughs> and then do you have a go-to app like for productivity or entertainment or whatever. Oh yeah, uh, I live on Apple Calendar. If I do not have my calendar, I'm a mess. Apple Calendar. Yes, oh. Apple Calendar. And you sync it with your husband's and that whole thing? Or? We actually do. <laughs> <laughs> right, fair, fair enough. And then what advice would you give to your 25 year old self? I know that was only a couple years ago, <laughs> but what would you tell yourself? I would say definitely to stop avoiding art. Don't let the others listen to you. 
and just dig into that and influence, uh, let art influence you however it may. And then the, so I have a two-parter here. Okay. And the second one is you don't need to go to that fancy expensive school. Grew up in a hometown, Baylor University. Mm -hmm. That was that mindset. And so I just wanted to, to remind myself that I could go to that local trade school and it'd be just fine. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here's one. When you are doing your art, mm -hmm. do you like listen to music? Do you listen to podcasts? Oh, do you yes. listen to nothing? Like, how do you get in the zone? Oh, yes. I will, one, I'll do an audio book. Or two, depends on what mood I'm in, mm -hmm. I will do the lo-fi. Uh, have you heard that lo-fi music where it's just kind of like a chill beat? No. Uh, no, no, not mm -hmm. really any lyrics. It's just, it's a nice vibe. Okay, so like... <laughs> It's like jazz or like no it's definitely more of kind of like techno but very low like we're not raven okay gotcha. <laughs> what artist do you listen to when you do that or is it just all random or something? oh it's random it's on like a youtube lo-fi playlist okay yeah sounds good and then um what are you think most thankful for other than your family of course yes uh, definitely family but i would say my husband big time because he's just a big supporter encourager as I said, the markets, he always comes to me and just helps like, kept, like brainstorm some ideas, helps out with those markets. I just can't praise him enough. Okay. And, yeah, friends, of course, they're always great encouragers. All right. <laughs> and then anything exciting that you have planned for the business in 2024, other than like the, uh, the classes that you're teaching at Frederick Made? Anything else going on? Yes. My goal is to at least have 10 other originals that I'm working on, and I want to really expand the pressed flower art and mixing watercolors together. I just think that would be such a unique concept. Okay. And put it into stationery. All right. And is this one of your pressed yes. flowers? Oh, no? no. So this is all embroidery. My pressed flowers is actually this. It's a wax seal stamp where it comes into, it's basically modernizing the old wax seal. Yeah, so those are from my garden and you what know, you, you dehydrate them. Mm -hmm. And so it, there's a sticky adhesive on the back and you put it on the back of your envelopes. It's just oh, a fancy touch, yeah. Got you. Yeah, okay. it's like the old school wax seal stamps. Yes, I know what you, okay, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, wrapping up here, any dream travel destinations? Oh, I've been to Costa Rica, but hands down, I go back, live there, emerge live there. myself. Oh, a hundred percent, emerge right. myself. Do you have a one um, plan now? Oh, like a upcoming trip? Yeah, mm. my husband and I are actually staying local. We're gonna get to go to St. Michael's. There's a sea glass festival, which I just discovered sea glass. It's basically old glass that has uh, washed up on the shore, mm -hmm. and then they turn it into art. It's so cool. When are you doing that? That is gonna be late April. Late April. Yeah. Okay. So, hopefully, we'll see some like Facebook lives. Or oh. Something. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Come back with some inspiration. Give it back to the community. Look at you <laughs> giving me all the ideas. <laughs> Last question is: Who is your mentor that you spoke to most recently? Because I'm sure you have a couple. But sure. Who did you speak to most recently? Yeah, I would definitely say I am enjoying the heck out of um, picking Vicki Clarkson's brain. Okay. She is a watercolor artist mm -hmm. that's local in Frederick. Uh, she's at the Eastside Gallery downtown near Everdeley Square. I always say that. Everready. Um, thank you. <laughs> and um, she just has so many good nuggets, beautiful artwork. Um, just, I, I love learning from her. Okay. And then other than your website, yes. how can people get a hold of you? Do you have the Facebook? Yes. Do you have the Instagram? Yes. And is that it or more? Yes. No, those are it. Facebook, Instagram. I, can, I like to keep it simple. Okay. Facebook, Instagram, and the website. Yes. And I'll put all that information in the show notes. Mm -hmm. So go out there, show some valor. Yay. No weapon <laughs> for me you shall prosper. Bye. Bye. We're done. Hey, look at us. <laughs> <laughs>